Hello Internet! My name is Abby and welcome back to the Space Exploration Agency. After the stressful maiden flight of the space plane 102, we finally have some time to relax a bit and to perform the burn with our round trip probe in order to fly out to the moon and yeah, to begin the journey of the round trip probe. And well, um, as you can see, it's only a short burn, only 430 meters per second of delta V are needed for this burn. But due to the fact that we are using the electric propulsion system, the burn takes about four minutes. And yeah, that's really, really relaxing. And we can use the time to think a little bit about future plans, because now we do have again a space plane that is capable of reaching space, that is capable of of getting into an orbit around Kerbin and that has even enough um, fuel on board to rendezvous with our science station and to dock to the science station. And yeah, that's that's really amazing and I'm really happy about that. While of course the maiden flight isn't over yet, um, I still need to return back to the runway of Kerbal Space Center, but I hope this is not so much of a problem. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to do this in this episode because here yeah, um, the last two episodes were really exciting and yeah, uh, well, they they were so exciting that I really need a break. I really need to step back a little bit because this is really stressful when you are flying a space plane and when you are have a splashdown with your space plane and when you are trying to dock the space plane for the very first time to the science station. And yeah, okay, I'm, I'm really happy that this was a success. And soon we will return back to our Kerbal Space Center to finish the maiden flight. And well, now it's time to fly out with our round trip probe out to the moon. And well, speaking about future projects, we do have, no, not the fuel, we do have, well, ferry a VIP safely to his destination. Henway likes to orbit around Kerbin. And well, I'm thinking about taking him with me on my next space plane, space plane flight so uh, that he can enjoy the orbit and maybe he can return from space with some of the other crew members of the science station. And yeah, this might be an idea. Then we need to build a new orbital station around Minmus. Put your station in orbit of Minmus, build a new station. And yeah, that's um, the contract or that's the next project I like to begin today. I really like to start building the uh, Minmus station because on the surface of Minmus is currently the Mining Lander Mark 1 and I think the ore tanks of the Mining Lander Mark 1 are now full and so yeah we really need the, well, the, the mining station so that the station can start to convert this ore into some fuel and yeah. So today I like to start the process of building the new station. And well, one thing about the station is really, really interesting. Have a facility supporting at least 19 kerbals. So 19 kerbals, um, well, the good thing is that we need to have a research lab and a cupola on board of the science station. So this would mean that I need four hitchhiker storage containers and uh, well, the research lab and finally the viewing cupola. And well, then I would have 19 seats I hope I did this right. Yeah, then I would have 19 seats on board of the science state uh, on board of the Minmus station. And okay, this is really a well, a very interesting requirement. Yeah, I'm looking forward to build a gigantic station in an orbit around uh, Minmus, but I'm not quite sure if this will be really that gigantic or if this will be just a, a normal station. And well, then we do need to build a service outpost on the moon. We do have already our moon base, and I just like to build a another well another building right next to the to the current moon base and well um at the exact same time extract ore from the moon and deliver it to Kerbin. so we need to acquire wow 2400 units of fresh ore from the moon and um i need to bring this or into an orbit around Kerbin. Oh, we are getting closer to the end of the burn, so I'm talking so much that we have now completed the burn. That's amazing, that's really amazing. And just a few seconds. Come on. And cut the engine. Very good, very good. So, are we 
on track out to the moon. Yeah, we are on track out of the moon and our current periaps is 229 kilometers. That's okay, that's okay. We can trim this a little bit later. But yeah, we are en route to the moon with our round trip probe. That's amazing. That's really amazing. And how we're doing on fuel? Um, oh, we have used half of our xenon gas. That's cool. So we do have more than enough xenon gas on board for our round trip. That's amazing. Okay. So um, I was talking about the contracts and well, I think I can combine both contracts because yeah, um, well, or can I, will I, I'm not quite sure. I think I will build a mining lander mark two, which is, uh, well, which has more or has a higher performance so that it can land on the moon. I'm not quite sure if the mining lander mark one could also land on the moon. Maybe I will just fly it over to the moon from Minmus after it has delivered the ore. And yeah, then I will um, do this. So yeah, um, a lot of exciting things are coming up. And at first, as I said, I like to build the Minmus station. And let me just see one thing. Um, Kerbal Space Center is over there. And the science station is over here. So at first I like to, oh, it's in the nighttime side, but I, sh I think this should be okay. As the science station has some lights. Um, yeah, it has some lights, very good. We can see the science station. And um, yeah, I like to fly this spacecraft. It's, I think, Jetmai spacecraft, yeah. Jetmai is sitting in here in the hitchhiker storage container. He can now go on a quick EVA and switch on his lights, very nice. Okay, here we go. So yeah, um, Jetmai is now returning back to his spacecraft because I really like to use his spacecraft um, in order to assemble the, the Minmus space station. I think I will just launch robotic missions and fly uh, in order to deliver the hardware out to uh, Minmus. And over there, someone needs to grab the hardware from the upper stage that has propelled the, the hardware and that has uh, done all the maneuvers and added to the to the Minmus station. And so in this case, I think I will use Jetmai spacecraft as it has a docking port in front of it and a docking port at its aft. And so it's perfect for the job. Well, of course, I could also use uh, the, the old, the good old SK pod, but well, the good old SK pod has no, um, has no solar array. So this would be a little bit problematic. And well, the, the new SK port um, has some solar arrays, but it has only one docking port and this could be also a little problematic to rearrange some things and to grab some things and to, yeah, to perform basically docking chess. And in this case, um, yeah, I think we have to launch um, the first part of the Minmus station so that Jetmai can then fly down to this um, the spacecraft and talk to it so that he can fly out to, um, to Minmus. And before we will do this, we need to refuel his spacecraft so that he is prepared for this. And oh, I think um, soon I have to launch the next supply mission to the science station as the fuel tank on board of the science station uh, is getting... Well, we do have a fuel shortage on board of the science station. Um, yeah, I think I will even refuel the monopropellant fuel tanks of Jetmai spacecraft as well. He will need a lot of monopropellant to... Okay, this thing is still full. That's good to maneuver around and oh um I think the main problem could be that Jetmai spacecraft has only the, the small battery that is on board of uh, his command port. So in this case I think I have to recharge his battery uh, just before he will undock and start his flight out to the um, to the science station. And yeah okay um so Next up is the launch of the first part of the station core of our Minmus station. And yeah, I will now return back to the space center because at first I just like to check the mission control, I guess. That's how the building is called. Um, yeah, the mission control, because I like to see, are there some interesting contracts? Um, no, I don't want to mess around with satellites. I don't want to mess around with... Um, 
with asteroids. Um, I do have already a contract. Tylo pool. No, I don't want to fly to the Joule system. Perform gravimetric scans of the moon. Um, record gravitational forces on the surface at site. On the surface at spaceflight and spaceflight and spaceflight. Oh, this sounds interesting. We can land twice on the moon in order to perform some some measurements and um, it has a duration of two years and 335 days so this seems to be a cool contract this seems to be a fun contract i think i will just ac uh, accept this contract and complete it later on okay um yeah that's nice that's really really nice and well now it's time to roll out there um, well, the, the station core, the Minmus station core, and I will bring it back in once we have our launch window so that we can launch um, at the perfect moment so that Jetmai can then fly out to this, uh, the spacecraft. So yeah, let me do this. So, the rollout is completed, the Minma space station core is ready for liftoff and the science station is approaching Kerbal Space Center. So now it's time for the final preparations. I can enable SAS, I can adjust the throttle and in 3, 2, 1 and lift off. Another flawless lift off from the launch pad at Kerbal Space Center. And now I like to gain some speed before I will begin the gravity turn. And then, yeah, we are heading for space. And wow, that's amazing. The, um, the construction process of the Minma space station has officially begun. Wow, that's exciting. That's really exciting. And yeah, once again, I'm using my favorite space launch system. And well, I think it would be even possible to launch the payload without the two strap on solid rocket boosters. But, well, because I like to fly out to Minmus and I don't want to launch a refueling mission right now, I like to have as much fuel as possible in my upper, upper stage once we are in, um, in an orbit around Kerbin. And yeah, so in this case I like to use the central booster most of the time and even for the, for the orbit insertion burn. And okay, speaking about... Oh dear. Speaking about the solid rocket boosters, they are now out of fuel and I think I need to expedite a little bit my gravity turn. And um, yeah, so I like to use the, the central core as long as possible and that's why I have still kept the two solid rocket boosters installed to save some fuel. And okay, we are now heading for space. That's amazing. That's really, really amazing. And I'm really excited about this mission. I can't wait to see the station core orbiting around Minmus. That's really cool. And okay, we can now turn over to the 30 degree marker on the nef ball. Very nice, very nice. Okay, very good. And how we are doing, how we are doing. Yeah, the science station is over there, that's very good. Okay, the epilepsy is rising, that's good. I like to begin in an 100 kilometer orbit. And well, the, the, the core of the Minmus space station is pretty light. So that's why I said it would be, I think it's possible to launch it even without the two solid rocket fuel boosters. And um, yeah, but I think later when we will or when we have to launch some some heavier parts, I need uh, some kind of refueling mission in an orbit around Kerbin, where um, yeah the upper stage can be refueled before the flight out to Minmus will begin. Uh, but yeah, this is not a problem for now. Right now, it's just about the delivery of the um, of the Minma station core. Yeah, I think it's now time to see the Minma station core so we can now jettison the payload fairing. Very nice. And yeah, the science, uh, the Minma space station core is basically some batteries, a reaction wheel and a remote guidance unit. And of course, the docking adapter where we will attach all the different modules of the Minma space station. And okay, now it's some time to. 
until we will reach the apoapsis and we can begin our burn. And okay, I think now it's a perfect time to begin the burn. So come on, here we go and let's throttle up, very nice. Okay, the engine is running, very nice, very nice. Yeah, as I said, I like to save as much fuel as possible of the fuel of the upper stage, so that's why I'm now using my central core booster in order to perform the majority of the burn. And it will run out of fuel pretty soon, and wait, let me just cut the engine before it will enter an orbit around Kribben, this would be really bad. And okay, now it's out of fuel, that's perfect, that's really perfect, so I can jettison it now, and yeah, the next thing is the upper stage engine and here we go for the last part of the burn very nice very nice and it's in orbit 98 by 108 that's good that's really good yeah we are now flying parallel to the science station and so it's now time to switch to the science station and well Jetmai is already prepared for his departure, so he can now say undock, and we can now switch to him and enable SAS, enable RCS, and um, toggle the torque so that the reaction wheels are running again. Now he can start to drift away from the sign station. Very good. Okay, now he needs to at first clear the sign station so that he can perform his burn to a rendezvous with... That's so cute to see the, the space plane down there. And yeah, there's the... Oh, I think it's already ahead of us. The Minma station core is already ahead of us. I think this could be a little bit problematic. So um, I need to set it as my target and let me see. I think, yeah, it's already ahead of us. That's bad, that's really bad. So I think I even... Oh, well, Jetmai even needs to be in a bit of a lower orbit in order to then catch up with the with the station core. So yeah, the, the burn wasn't that well timed, that said. Um, can I even establish... Yeah, over there I can. 12.9 km, this is good enough. But I need to start the burn right now. And yeah, down there we are 54 km away from it. And well, I think I will start the burn now. So good by science station. It was really nice to be uh, to have visited you, and it was really nice to have seen all my friends again. But yeah, now it's time for Jet Mai to begin his next adventure. That is the construction of the Minmus um, space station. And well, the mining lander Mark One is still on the surface of Minmus, so. Uh, the mining lander Mark 1 could also assist in the construction process, but it's really huge and really unwieldy. And so I think it's better to perform or to, to do the construction with this uh, small spacecraft. Okay, the burn is completed, 12 kilometers. Um, I think the main problem is bec that we do have an inclination, so I'll need to fix the inclination at first. Um, ascending node over there, so we need to perform a burn in this direction, point 0.1, then we are down to 7.2 kilometers and I think we can get this a little bit closer hopefully. 1.9, that's cool. Can we get this even closer? One kilometer, that's amazing. Okay, the next burn will come up in three and a half minutes, very nice, very nice. And so, um, the launch of the Minmus station core was well timed. Well, we need to um, catch up a little bit with it, but um, in general, yeah, it was a, a well timed launch, and now it's time to perform the next burn so that Jetmai can rendezvous with the, with the Minmus space station core. And okay, yeah, one kilometer, very nice, very nice. And this will happen in about 20 minutes. That's good. Um, yeah, in about 20 minutes. So I think I will add a maneuver node over there as a marker. And time for some time warp to get closer to the first parts of the Minmus station. Very good, very good. 
Jetma is happy. Jetma is really happy. Okay, only eight minutes to go. Oh, oh, oh dear. Um, the current periapsis is. Oh, I haven't thought about that. Uh, well, I think uh, 67 kilometers is still above the atmosphere, so I hope he will not experience any drag from the atmosphere. Okay, um, huh, I haven't thought about that. Oh dear, I could have deorbited Jetma without even noticing this. I was just focusing on... Wow, oh, that's a nice shadow. I was just focusing on the, the goal of um, rendezvousing with the Minmus Station Corps and... Um, yeah, but okay, we are still high enough. We haven't reached the atmosphere, so that's good. That's really good. And now we are gaining altitude again. And I hope this has not affected our trajectory. Soon we will be able to see this. And come on. Just a few hundred meters. Then we are back in space. And okay, we are back in space again. So it's still one kilometer. Okay. It hasn't changed, that's good, that's really good. So we can now continue our approach. And two minutes, one minute, getting closer. Very nice, very nice, and okay. Let's come to a stop. 139 meters per second, and where are the markers? Okay, the markers over there. So I can now start to reduce the relative velocity as usual. And start to trim a little bit the trajectory so that I will arrive spot on. Good job, Jetmai. Really good job. Okay, and cut the engine. 90 meters per second of relative velocity. That's good. So we are approaching really fast. But I think that's okay. I think I can slow down in time. So, okay, now it's time to reduce the relative velocity even more. Okay, very good. And cut the engine. So there is our Minma station core, very nice. Getting closer, getting closer. Okay, only 250 meters. Very nice, very nice. And we are right above Kerbin's Desert. It's cool. Okay, 130 meters, getting closer. And now it's time to come to a stop. Easy, easy. Okay, and the docking port, well, we are facing into the right direction. That's amazing. Okay, I can now turn the spacecraft around. Very nice. And aim for the docking port. And then I think we are on a direct approach to to the docking port. Wow, that's amazing. Jetma is happy. Jetma is enjoying his ride. That's cool. That's really cool. And yeah, so um, I don't want to fly additional um, station, um, space station modules out to Minmus. I think I could, yeah, I think it should be possible to to deliver a second part, but I don't want to do this right now. As at first, I like to. Um, find the, the right altitude and the right orbit and I like to trim the orbit before I will start to um, before I will really start to to deliver more parts. And okay, Jetma is now approaching the Minmus station core and soon Yeah, okay. He has contact and he is stocked. Very nice, very nice, good job. Good job, Jetma. Now I like to make sure that I am controlling from the right position. Um, control from here. Very good. Um, yeah, I think at first I will close the fuel valves and I will shut down those engines. Okay, very good. Now we need to think about how we can get out to Minmus. Minmus is over there. So, um, can we fly out to Minmus without changing our inclination right away. This would save some fuel. This would be really, really good. Okay. 
and oh yeah yeah indeed indeed we can fly out to Minmus that's perfect it's really perfect and um, I think we need to we need to perform some some mid-course correction burns but well we can begin our flight out to Minmus that's really nice and in 23 minutes that's good because so we do have some time left can I perform maybe some some changes to get this a little bit closer um, no not from this position I think I have to perform a mid-course correction burn in order to to reduce a little bit the the distance but yeah this can be done while we are en route out to Minmus and so 23 minutes um, until we can perform the burn out to Minmus okay time for a quick time warp we can look down to Kerbal Space Center and soon they will have sunset down there and then Kerbal Space Center is in the darkness again that's really sad, that's really sad, so um, I need to wait that Kerbal Space Center will have sunrise again before I will begin the, the flight back home with the space plane and I will try to end the maiden flight with a successful and beautiful landing on the on the runway of Kerbal Space Center. Okay, um, only a couple of minutes. Very good, eight minutes, seven, six, five, four, three, two at around one minute I like to begin the burn okay one minute 20 seconds now it's time to rotate the spacecraft around and toward the maneuver node very nice very nice okay now it's time to perform oh the burn is much shorter than the computer predicted that's good that's really good okay so we can wait a little bit and yeah so then what um, are my plans well I like to add some well some additional docking adapters and I, I really like to build a huge station but I'm not quite sure um, what I will add to all these parts so I'm not quite sure how the, the station will look in the end um, I think it's more a natural process that I will launch um, some modules that are needed like the um, like the the 19 seats and the, the research lab and so on and then over time I will add some more functionality to the Minmus station like some, some lights and of course um, solar arrays and maybe I will even install those new heat heat panels um, heat radiators or however they are called um, I'm not quite sure if the ISRU unit is or the ISRU converter is producing some heat but I think it will add some some additional dimension to the space station once there are these huge panels installed to it and yeah so I do have some some great ideas in mind and I think over time I will add more and more parts to it and more and more modules to it but well maybe I will mix things up and I will work a little bit on the on the moon base and I will work a little bit on the Minmus station and oh okay um, I think we need to fix a few things um, okay we need to apparently we just need to speed up a little bit okay yeah very good now we do have our Minmus encounter and um, where would be a perfect opportunity to perform some kind of mid-course correction burn maybe yeah over here is seems to be good then um, I'm confused. Um, if I perform this maneuver, then I won't have my Minmus encounter anymore. Do I need then to speed things up or to, to reduce my speed? Okay, I just need to reduce my speed and then um, still, how can I get this a little bit closer? Maybe like this. 1000 kilometers 900 kilometers 700 kilometers getting closer okay that's good 
600, okay. 500. Okay, this is a little bit wrong. Yeah, okay, 516 kilometers is good enough. And, well, maybe I can even do something like this. 458. Okay, I think this is good enough. And, um, yeah, once we are getting closer to Minmus, or once we are in orbit around Minmus, we can adjust uh, our, our trajectory and our maneuver a little bit more. And, yeah, so the round trip probe is on its way out to the moon. The Minmus station core is on its way out to Minmus. And Jetmai is also on its way out to Minmus. So I think this was really a successful episode. We have achieved a lot. And, well, in the next episode, we will hopefully arrive with our round trip probe at the moon. And maybe we will even return with the space plane back to the runway. We will see. But well, that's all for now. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you had some fun. And I hope you will be joining me in the next episode. Until then, my name is Abby. See you.